on the Lake Forest Scouts. Trevians come into this game with a record of uh, 20 and 5. And Lake Forest ran into a little uh, discipline problem this past weekend. That's Scott Spinney out in left. Sam Franklin in center. John Brzezinski out in right. Chris Lashmet at third. Adam Victorn at short. Mac Murphy at second. Mike Dominic at first. Battery today of Paul Duncan and TJ O'Donnell. Leading it off is Bernardi for the Scouts. Travian's coming off a big weekend. Typical high school students have a good game, a big important game, and then they lost one. That's a ball low, and inside, ball one to Bernardi. We're here, back to homegrown, home food here. There's a strike. Back to New Trier. Duke Childs Field. Now the delivery. Swing and a slow roller, knocked down by... Duncan now picks it up, throws on over to first. One up, one down. One three on the put out. Here's Britt Myers. There's a strike on the outside corner. Strike one to Myers. We're here winding down the season. Week and a half left. There's a strike. Offered. Trying to bunt his way on. Wind blowing out a little bit. Cloudy, threatening sort of day. Fouled off. Ah, the delivery. That's a ball outside. Trevians going to open up the playoffs here at New Trier. Swing and a miss. Drop third strike, but on over in time. Two up, two down. Here's Goldberg. Pitcher low and inside a ball. We're going to start something new today. Trevia trivia. Each game will have a trivia question about the Trevians. Now the delivery. Swing and a line shot. That's going to be a gapper. Back. Good. Right field, right center field, on the way over to third comes Goldberg, and he'll make it. Didn't have to slide, did anyway. Rowe came over there a little late. Here's Kanzler, Steve Kanzler. That's ball high and outside, ball one. The left-hander, Paul Duncan, delivers. It's a strike on the outside corner. And the county was up at 1-1. One one. Early on in the going here today. Got my trusty little scorebook already. That's a ball, low and outside. That's high a ball. And ball four. Now here's Wicks Barkhausen. Two on, two out. And 
Delivery to Bark. Barkshausen is in there for a strike. Glad to have you all the way down the network line, wherever you may be. Hope you enjoy our broadcast today on the Education Channel. Uh, the delivery. That's a strike. Trevian's conference-wise have Maine South, Deerfield uh, crossover game, pitch high and outside the ball. And Evanston yet to go. Now the pitch. Swing ground ball. Slow roller picked up. And over to first. Lashmit to Dominic. And the inning over. No runs. One hit. A walk and two left. And we go to the bottom half of the first inning. And it's a strike on the outside corner to Sam Franklin. That's in there for a strike. Britt Myers on the mound. Now the delivery. Strike three. Caught him looking. A little bit of a sidearm motion to it. And there's one away. Here's Mac Murphy. There's a strike. Strike one. There's a high fly ball taken out in center field, uh, right field rather, for the out, two down. And here's Mike Dominic. There's a strike. That sidearm motion looks like it's got a pretty good hook to it. That's a ball, low and outside, and the count was up at 1-1 one one to the Trevian's first baseman, Mike Dominic. Swing ground ball. And knocked down. They won't get him, though. An infield single. Nice job by the shortstop. Keeping it from going to the outfield. And here's Chris Lashmet. So Lashman bats, takes a ball, go to first, runner back, the delivery in there for a strike on the outside corner. I said Myers, I'm wrong, it's Zeit. Mike Zeit, the, the pitcher, I believe. Dominic with his lead, the pitch, a high pop-up. Catcher has room, and now runs out of it, out of play. A windshield whacker. Now the delivery. Another one fouled back. All right, pop up. That one's going to get out of play. Off to the right. Falled off. Count holds. Throw over to first. Dominic back. Now, Trier going to be number one in the Northern Cook County sectional, I guess. That's what you got to call it. Northeastern Cook County sectional. There's a little bloop, and that's going to drop in for the base hit. 
And over to third will go Dominic. And the Trevians have runners at the corners with two out. For Johnny Rowe. Johnny had a great game down in Lockport. Two home runs. And a strike. Johnny's blamed his hitting woes in the first half of the season on uh, the wrong prescriptions in his contact lens. And has just gotten some new ones here. Now the pitch. Swing a slow grounder. Whoops! Bobbled! And everybody's safe. And the Trevians have a run on the air. So runners are first and second. There's a strike. Dale Huff, the batter. Now the pitch. There's a high pop-up. And shortstop calls for it. Takes it on the second base side. We're out number three. But in the inning, one run on two hits. An error. And two left. We go to the second. Trevian's leading it one nothing. We'll be back with more here on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. To the top of the second inning, Trevian's one run on two hits. No errors. Scouts no runs. One hit. One error. And Collins leads off the top of the second. Six, seven, and eight in Coach Myers' lineup. Paul Duncan delivers, pitches low, a ball, ball one to Collins. Now the delivery adds a strike, and the count evens up at one and one. One and one the count. Not so much for that great idea that I had. And one and two, or two and one make it. To Collins. Trying to find a way to get some wires out of the way. There's a high fly ball right at Spinney. Take it for the out. One away, here's Swarth out. And Duncan delivers a strike. And a little high and tight, a ball. And the count is up at one and one. Wind blowing out today. That's in there for a strike. One and two to Swarth out. Johnson on deck. And Duncan delivers. Outside a ball. The county was up at Deuces. Ball ball back to the screen. That's the second one today. Boy, if you're not awake in your living room, you could have that thing come crashing right through. <laughs> That'll wake you up. Now they delivery. Strike three. Two away. Here's Johnson. Yeah, it's high a ball. Ball one. Bottom third of the batting order. Do up for the Trevians in the bottom of the second. Delivery. It's a ball. There's a strike. Oh, 
Kind of a still humid night today. One of those days where you could expect a little bit of rain even. There's a high pop-up. And Spinney waits for it. Takes it. Three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. We go to the bottom half of the second inning. And Nutcher leads it one to nothing. Here's Spinney to lead it off. That's a ball, ball one. There's a high pop up. Shortstop going out, left fielder comes in, left fielder takes it for the out, one away. Here's TJ O'Donnell. TJ, ground ball, slow roller. Tough chance, throw, not in time. And a little infield single for TJ. There's Adam Victor. And Adam's come in uh, to take over for the next couple of weeks while Ben Gardner, ball gets away and O'Donnell off to second. I think... No, that's not. I can't tell if that's TJ or not. That's a strike. Ben Gardner out for three weeks. Victor was a shortstop last year. Had some injury problems and basically has gotten the job back for a while. To make or break it, there's a strike. One out, runner at second. Swing and a foul ball. No, that's not. Is that Jim Hall? Could be. That's a ball. That is who I think it is. Jim Hall out at second, running for TJ. Ball ball back to the screen. Out of delivery. Ball four, and Victorin has drawn the walk, two on. With one out, here's Sam Franklin. Sam struck out his first time up last inning. Hot shot foul outside of third. 0 and 1. And it's a strike. There's a soft liner, caught, and the second, double play, and the inning over. A haul took off, thinking it was a hit. In the inning, no runs, one hit, no errors, and one left. And we go to the third. Now we go to the top of the third inning. And the Trevians leading this one, one to nothing. We'll do Trevians trivia at the at this half inning. As a ball, low and outside. Number nine batter in the Lake Forest lineup. Nine, one, and two do up. There's a strike. No, make it a ball. 2 0. Adele. 
I fly ball on the giddy up and spinning over. Takes it for the out. One away. Here's Bernardi. That's high a ball. Leadoff man. Ground it back to Duncan, who knocked it down and then threw him out. Paul with the delivery now. High pop up foul. That's going to be Windchill Wacker back behind us. Now the delivery. High pop up. And Mac Murphy goes out shallow. Right center and takes it for the out. Two down. Here's Brett Myers. Backs him away. Ball one. Lefty, lefty. That's a strike. One and one. The Myers. Two out. Swing and a miss. Went fishing for that one in the Skokie Lagoons. Way outside. And strike three. And another one, two, three inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. And we go to the bottom half of the third. But we're going to do this new feature, Trevian's Trivia, Trivia, Trivia. Who holds the record for the new Trevian's Trevians for the most home runs in the season? Who holds the record for the most home runs in the season? We'll give you the answer right after the Trevians bat here in the bottom of the third, leading one nothing over Lake Forest. Mac Murphy. Rushed away with a high pitch, ball one, and a soft little ground ball. Second baseman has it. Over to first, in time. One up, one away. Here's Dominic. He scored the only run of the ball game so far. Singled back in the first inning. Lashmit followed with a single. Rosinski safe on an error, and that error. Allowed Dominic to come home the score. Inside corner for a strike. Snap a ball game today. We're already in the third inning. Line shot. That's going to be another base hit. Nope. Caught. Boy, you got all of that one. And that was one of those that just kept on rising a little bit. Nice job by the left fielder getting over there. Here's Chris Lashmet. Looked like it was going to be a hit. The way it sailed over the shortstop. Just didn't drop down. Will foul tip strike. Two out, nobody on. A pitcher's duel today. That's a strike. No? Curved around the plate. Ball. Kind of hard to tell. <laughs> Yiminy Christmas. There's a high fly ball. Center fielder. Everybody giving chase. And a sensational catch. Wow. What a catch. Robbing Lashman of a single. In the inning, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. We played through three. And the Trevians lead it one to nothing. We'll be back with more. And our trivia trivia, who holds the record for the most home runs in the season, is held by two players. Matt Lodick in 1999 and Chris Harang in 2003 with 11 home runs in a year. Pitchers duel on our hands today. Lake Forest, no runs, one hit, one error. That's all gone on the first inning. And... Paul Duncan has retired the last 70s phase. And for the new Tre Trevians, one run on three hits. No errors. 
How did Lake Forest betting order do up? Goldberg, Kunstler, and Barkhausen, three, four, and five. Pitches outside a ball. Third inning. Snappy ball game. Pitcher's dull today, apparently. The delivery. That's low a ball. Two and out. High and outside. A uh, little high at least. Three and out. There's a strike. Goldberg tripled to right center his last time up. Only hit of the ball game for the scouts. Ball four. Second walk issued by Duncan. A leadoff walk here in the top of the fourth inning. Here's Kanzler. He walked. Left stranded. Low fall tip strike. Throw over to first. Goldberg back in plenty of time. Now the delivery. Swing it a bit. Strike. Strike three. Throw to first. Runner back. Oh, after getting up 3 0, ends up striking out. Nice job by Duncan coming back. Here's Wicks Barkhausen. Hits a ground ball right through for the base hit. Second hit of the ball game for the Scouts. Two aboard with one out. Here's Collins. That's a ball. Ball one. Two on, one out, top of the fourth inning. Wind blowing from first base out to le left field. That's a ball outside. Nothing's got that gum working well. Paul looks in, gets a sign from TJ. And the delivery. High pop-up foul down the line. Now the pitch is a line shot, base hit to right. That's going to probably score a run here and tie this one up. It is. And going over to the third is Barkhausen as Collins hits the single. And we're all tied up at one. Here's fourth out. Strike one. There's a line shot caught. Throw to first, double play. Well, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Happened uh, to the Trevians. Happens now to the scouts. They come up with one run on two hits. The remarkable... Now we go to the bottom of the fourth. There's a high fly ball. Center fielder waits for it. And Rosinski is out. First pitch hitting. There's Huff. Take the pitch outside for a ball. Now Dungan has been nothing if not consistent. 
He struck out one batter in each inning. That's high ball. There's a strike. Got an extra little break in there. I don't know where that one came from. Swing, ground ball. Pitcher has it. Over to first. Two up, two down. Here's Spinney. He flew out to left field his last time up. Back in the second inning. It's a line shot. That's gone. Home run. Scott Spinney. A line shot out of here. In left center field. That's a second home run for Spinney in two days. And the Trevians have regained the lead. Here's T.J. O'Donnell, ground ball, nice pickup. Throws over there for the out, and the inning over. Each team comes across with a run in the bottom half of the fourth. Trevians, one run on one hit, the home run by Spinney, and nobody left. At the end of four, it's 2-1 in favor of Nutri, and we'll be back with more here on the network in just a moment. The Lake Forest Scouts, one run on three hits, one error. Been struck out four times, walked twice. They've left three on base. And the Trevians right now, two runs on four hits, no errors. They've been struck out just once. They've been walked just once. And the Trevians have also left three on base as we go to the fifth inning. Johnson leads it off for the Scouts. Andy Johnson takes a pitch low and inside a ball. T.J. O'Donnell behind the plate. Cloudy gray afternoon. And a snappy ball game. We're already in the fifth inning. There's a strike. There's a high fly ball on the giddy up. Back goes Franklin, and he has it. And dead away center for out number one. Here's Dell. The shortstop made a sensational play, Rudy Dell. Man, an absolutely sensational play on Lashman in the bottom of the third. There's a high fly ball. And again, Franklin has to get on his horse a little bit to go get it. And makes it in time. Two up, two down. Here's Bernardi. Two out. Nobody on. Goes the bunt. Bunts it foul. Strike one. Outside a ball. Strike two. Matt Bernardi takes a ball. Well, glad you're with us on the Education Channel. Here's a foul ball. A windshield whacker. Got it real good. Out of delivery. I untied a ball. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. Wind uh, kind of quartering around a little bit. A little more third to first. Or first to third, rather. Foul ball. Strike. Bernardi hanging in there. There's another fly ball on the giddy up and again. Franklin. So Franklin makes all three of the putouts here in the top of the fifth inning. 
for the Lake Forest Scouts. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. And the first time that Paul Duggan hasn't struck anybody out in an inning. We go to the bottom half of the fifth. Letting it off is Adam Victor. And hello there, uh, Patch Duda and some of the friends. There's a strike on the outside corner. Strike one to Victorin. He walked his first time up. Lewing and a hot shot. Base hit. Between short and third. And leadoff single for Victorin. And here's Franklin. Sam has had his ups and downs this year at the plate. Again, a turtle over there. Runner back. Of course, Trevian's. It's not really, I mean, it's individual, but individual working as a team. And the Trevians are doing very well at that. There's a strike. And particularly working well on defense. Boy, their defense this year has been very good. Now the delivery on the button attempt fouled off. Set to the outside, throw to first. And Victor in back. Bringing a high fly ball. Center fielder didn't have to move hardly at all. Out. One out. Yeah, hey, got ourselves a little bat boy here. I wish I knew the name, but they never gave it to me, so or else I would mention it. There's a foul ball. But congratulations anyway on being a Trivian's bat boy today. Draw to first, runner back. Mac Murphy, the batter. We got a lot of baseball left to go this year. Foul ball. Not only the baseball playoffs, we've also got uh, the summer league. In fact, there's some talk uh, about another uh, American Legion team perhaps wanting us. Outside a ball, there goes the throw, and well wide. And stolen base. First stolen base of the ball game by either team. So Murphy has a runner in scoring position with one out. Inside a ball. Did curve, but curved late. John Colazzo now. Pitching, falls went off. Falling off. That was a real windshield whacker. Whacked that car pretty good. High bounder. And shortstop has it. The throw in time. And on the play over to the third. Goes, goes uh, Victor. And so runner at third. And here's Mike Dominic. That's a ball. Dominic, one for two on the day at the plate. There's a strike. And the got him up at one and one. To the Trevian's first baseman. Chris Lashman on deck. Colazzo delivers outside a ball. Ground ball. Through for the base hit. Trevian's got another run. And Dominic, two for three on the day. And the Trevian's lead three to one. Here's Chris Lashman. 
singled and a sensational play by the shortstop running out and diving through traffic for an over the shoulder catch robbing Chris of a hit there's a strike on the inside corner now the pitch outside a ball Inside the ball. And I think the count's full. Draw to first. And Dominic back in plenty of time. Low and away a ball. Or low and inside a ball. The ball got away. And scampering over to second is Dominic on the pass ball. And ball four. And as that ball gets away on the wild pitch, on the ball four, Dominic goes over to third. Showrunners hit the corners, and here's Johnny Rosinski. Officially 0 for 2, although he was safe on an error back on the first. Ground ball. Second baseman over to first. In the inning, one run on two hits, a walk, and two left. At the end of five, the Trevians lead it three to one. And we'll be back with more in just a moment here on the network. Top of the sixth inning, Trevians leading it by the score of three to one. Scott spinning with a home run. Dominic scored a run, drove home a run. And some of the true blue Trevian crew here today. Watch this one. Myers, Goldberg, and Consler do up 2, 3, and 4 in the scouts lineup. Here in the top of the sixth inning to face Paul Duncan. This has gone the distance, allowed just three hits. There's a strike. Uh, Brett Myers. Swing a ground ball. Slow roller. Murphy over to Dominic. And there's one away. Here's Goldberg. Takes a strike. Ian Goldberg. That's a ball. And the counting's open and one and one. Goldberg been on base both times. Scored the only run that the scouts have today. There's a high fly ball. A little pop-up. Murphy calls for it. Takes it for the out. Two away. Here's Consular. 0 for 1 officially at the plate. Walk back in the first. Struck out the third. Balls one back. Strike one. Swing at a miss. Popped out of O'Donnell's glove. Oh and two. There's a high pop-up, and again, Murphy calls for it. Takes it for the out. Well, Franklin made all three of the put-outs in the fifth, and Murphy here in the sixth. We go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Huff spinning and O'Donnell do up. And in, it's a uh, foul ball. List batting for Huff. And it's a ball. So Brandon List batting. 
Takes the pitch outside. Trevian's trying to go to 21 and 5 on the year. There's a strike on the outside corner. They poked into the newspaper, downtown newspaper top tens. Foul ball back and a windchill whacker. Strike three. Here's Spinney. He homered the last time up. That's a ball. The uh, spinny bat. And a strike on the inside corner. Actually looking at all of the top teams. I haven't seen Joliet Catholic, but the others I've generally seen. A high fly ball, right fielder backing up. Takes it for the out. And I wouldn't say there, there's anybody that's dominant. There's some good teams, but I don't think there are any dominant teams. Uh, pitching is very shallow, it seems to me, this year. And there's a strike to Sam Troman batting for T.J. O'Donnell. Outside a ball. Yeah, it's going to be a wide open year. Of course, we don't know anything about downstate teams, but in the Chicago area. So we're going to miss. Strike three. And we go to the seventh. Trevian's leading the scouts three to one. And we'll be back with the seventh inning in just a moment, right after this message. Hi-ho, hi-ho, to the seventh inning we go. <laughs> hi-ho, hi-ho. So Barkhausen leads it off. Takes the pitch outside for a ball. Beautiful ball game here for Paul Duncan. That's a ball. Two and up. Barkhausen, Collins, and Swarthout officially do up. Barkhausen singled his last time up. One of just three hits given up by Paul Duncan today. In seven innings of work, soft ground ball, deep and short, long throw, got him. Vic Korn with a nice play. Going to his right, deep in the hole, and getting Barkhausen for out number one. Here's Collins. Swing and a miss. Strike. Collins, one for two. A race done a double play. Thought the ball was going to go through, and instead it was lined right to Murphy. They threw the first and doubled him up. One out. Trevian's two outs away from their 21st victory of the season. There's a strike. As of right now, the Trevians are at least seven games up on what they were last year. So I'm going to miss. Strike three. And the scouts are down to their last out. Here's Swarth out. He struck out and lined into that double play. There's a strike. Tim Swarth out. Delivery by Duncan. Oh, didn't miss by much. Inside a ball. Or maybe high. Hard to tell from this angle. Swing at a ground ball. Slow roller picked up by Dominic over to Duncan covering. 3 1 on the put out and the ball game all over. And the Trevians win it. 3 to 1. We'll be back in just a moment to wrap this ball game up. Well, the statistics on this ball game for the New Church Trevians. Three runs, six hits, no errors. They were struck out three times. They walked twice. 
They left five on base and one stolen base. For the Lake Forest Scouts, one run on three hits, one error. Paul Duncan struck out five, walked two, and the Scouts left three on base.